Hello, I am Swamik and you are watching Chinta's YouTube channel. Wish you all a happy new year. We'll start this year with a geometry problem. So let us see the statement of this problem. So we have the square ABCD with E and F as the midpoints of AD and DC respectively. This is a two part problem. In the first part, we have to prove that A, X and E are collinear points. The second part of this problem is the area of the square ABCD is given as 120. We need to find the area of the quadrilateral DXYE. But in this video, we'll only see the proof of the first part. We'll come with a new video to solve the second part of this problem. So let's start with the proof of the first part. So the step one is to show the triangles EXD and BXC are similar triangle, which is actually very easy because we have uh, vertically opposite angles. Uh, which are EXD and BXC and two alternate angles which are EDX and XBC. Now as these two triangles are similar then ratios of their respective sides will be same and we can easily see that E is the midpoint of the side AD so ED is half of AB which gives us ED is half of BC as well. So ratios of all the sides, all the respective sides is equal to half. Now we have to use the converse of Menelaus theorem. What is converse of Menelaus theorem? If we have a structure like this, then here, if BZ by ZC times CY by YA times AX by XB is equal to 1, then these three points X, Y and Z are collinear. If you want to learn in detail about Menelaus theorem and its converse, then you should visit the video appearing on card. Now we'll apply the theorem in our problem. We have this triangle EDC and a is a point on the extended side DE. Now, if we can prove that DA by AE times EX by XC times CF by FT is equal to 1, then we can say AX and F will be collinear points. Now, we know DA by AE has to be 2 by 1. Why? Because E is the midpoint. We already proved that EX by XC is equal to half. Why? Because of the similarity of the triangles. And CF by FD has to be 1 because F is the midpoint of C and D. So that shows this quantity is equal to 1 and hence AX and F are collinear points. That completes the proof for the first part. To see the solution for the second part, stay tuned, we'll be coming with a new video very soon. Thank you for watching this video. For more such interesting contents, please visit our website and other videos on our channel.